All right. Hi, it's Sarah. I'm back. I am so, I am in love with these papers and it's so hard to make the, the decision to what paper I want to use for my angel. I'm um, going to make, what is this? It's kind of a mixed media assemblage art doll. So what you want to do is get yourself your body. I talked about this in the previous video. This is a just a piece of wood that I got from um, Michaels and I cut it down to size. Um, it's four by like three and three quarters by th three quarters. Um, anywho, to get, I'm going to decoupage or just glue some paper to the front of here. To do that, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put the wood. So if this is going to be the front, I'm going to put right there along the bottom and just trace with my pencil and cut on those lines it's so fun I haven't done this type of work in so long I'm, I'm a very um, I do a lot of different crafts so um, the last Really, I, I paint quite often, but I was doing mosaics before that. So it's so fun to get out my other stuff and see. So that should fit perfectly because I flipped it like that, right? So I think this one might be more of a Valentine's theme. And then for the back of it, I picked this. Now this, um, I like this. Um, this pattern paper pad I got years ago. So this is Kirby Teasdale Studio. This is the paper studio from Hobby Lobby. And I probably got it on sale. And it's just really kind of whimsical. It's girly and like Victorian, I guess. I, I've i just enjoyed going through my paper pads again. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip this over and put it down. I'll just move this over there. Line it up along the bottom and the corner. Joe's using the glow forge. I don't know if you can hear that humming in the background. Um, I could close my door, but I think you can hear me just fine. So I'm going to cut this piece. And then we are going to decoupage, which is just basically a glue. You can use white glue. And by the way, this paper is very thin. It's not a real hefty uh, cardstock type paper. It's a really thin paper. So now I forget which side was which. All right, that looks good. So let's go ahead. I'm using Collage Podge. Let me get, I did not have any more, um, what do I have, what do I use usually? Um, deli paper. So what should I use? I'm just going to use my palette paper. I'm trying not to because I, this is my last palette paper, um, pad. I'll just have to get more. All right. So for decoupage, just use an old brush if you want, whatever. It's just like a glue. So I'm going to use this, uh, half inch oval wash brush and I'm going to put it on the wood and on the paper. So first I'm going to coat the wood. So let me just move this out of the way. I'm going to need more. I haven't sealed the wood at all because I'm assuming this glue will do the job for me and if you know better do better. Just do you boo. This is how I do it. Now, I want to be careful. I don't want to keep pulling on this because, like I said, the paper isn't the most sturdy paper. So I don't want to overwork it. I'm going to be gentle. I am going to line it up as best I can. I should have... The other way to do this is to actually glue it before you cut it. And then you can cut it after... Oh, dang it. I'm going to have to hold it so I can see what I'm doing. Um, you can um, cut it after 
it's glued and that might be actually a better way to go this is only my second one I've made <clears throat> I'm gonna use my like it's not really sticking you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong but I'm just gonna take it and really try to get it to stick but see how it pulled up so you got to get this on there and leave it and then I will do a coat on top this kind of just pushes the bubbles out and really gets it to be onto the surface and then I'll sand the edges too but I'm gonna do a coat on top of it gently and then once that's dry I'll uh, do the other side and in the meantime I'm gonna start embellishing my other one because I have picked out a few things that I am going to use so I'm gonna put that in water and I'll save that and this is my other one I did this paper is I think this is happily ever after it's a very old um, paper pad as well um, probably like I don't know maybe 10 years ago anywho I am going to be using weld bond there are so many adhesives you can use you could use um, glossy accents but I'm going to use weld bond it's for wood, wood tile glass foam stone ceramic and more it's very strong but I'm going to use it for this fabric and hope for the best so I have it in this little kind of pointy bottle that I use for mosaics and we'll see how it goes I have already set aside some things that I want to use and I think I want it to go along the sides so I used to love to work with um, Fabri-Tac and I don't have any it dried up let's see um, yeah I don't have any but it is it was my go-to for like any type of um, trims and stuff so I'm just gonna put a bead let me make sure this is open I have my little awl that I'm gonna use in a minute to show you how I'm going to put the holes in the wood but let's just try to get a few of these embellishments um, yeah I'm gonna use that and I'm just gonna center it so that I have um, hang over at the ends push down so that this like part right here is uh, and you could use a glue gun I'm not a huge fan of glue guns I think things come unattached but this isn't exactly working either I think a gel would work better it'll definitely work for the um, paper so and then I'm gonna put this heart up here but I think I wanted to put something along the top I have these um, well my desk is a mess where did I put it look at these these are metal stickers I was thinking of making a coffee angel to hang over by my coffee station um, but I'm looking for this these are little uh, bead landing charms like they have they're actually like so I'm just gonna pull these off here let's see And I think I'm going to use them for like a necklace or not a necklace per se, but like a the trim of her her shirt, like the trim of her dress at the top. Um, and you can cut these using a um, like a beading tool or a, I guess it's a shank. This is a shank cutter. I use that a lot or uh, yeah, that's basically what I use for the most part. Cause you could just bend it like keep bending 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 anyway 
So I think I want to put at least, I could probably put four there. But I was also thinking of putting something along here. And I found my bling. I was really bummed out that I wasn't going to find it. This is bumming me out that it, this glue is not working. All right, I'm turning off my camera. I'm going to figure it out. Okay, believe it or not, my hubby hooked me up. Um, he's been making things for uh, on the Glowforge. Anyway, look what he had. Clear gel tacky glue. Um, all purpose, dries crystal clear. Um, let's see, strong bond. I'm just going to try it because it can't be any worse than... Now, because I had... I coated this. Both fabrics had a coating of, actually I used uh, matte varnish on the paper so I could just wipe it right off. And I already um, embossed the sides of this. I'm letting the other one, I did both sides, but I'm going to sand the edges and I really want to let it dry because I didn't use the collage podge on this like I said. I used, so I did collage podge on this one. So you know, anyway. Um, I don't know if I like it as much. It feels weird, but I'm just going to let it really dry. And I was going to move on and do something else, but he had this because I was going to go get Fabri-Tac yesterday. I mean, <clears throat> tomorrow. <laughs> so let's see what this does and hope for the best. Um, all right, here we go. So I, I basically just pulled it off and then wiped everything down. So let's see if it'll, uh, I'm just going to go like this. Ooh. And hopefully what it, what it tackiness means it'll grab it. And I won't have to hold it for like a long time. I could put something on top of it. Ooh, ooh, it grabbed. Oh, so exciting. It grabbed it. I'm so excited. All right, so I am going to that is so exciting, you guys. It is exciting. I think I do still have to put something on top of it to make it really stick. Because this is just fabric. And then I'm going to put, um, what did I use? I'm going to put a, another, some type of ribbon or, or bling on top of it, too, I think. All right, but first, I just want to, I'm going to flip it over. And all my other ones, I didn't. I just cut it. I'm probably really risking it to do it, to be so, uh, it could be too risky. I should just cut it and, oh, see it stuck to my finger. This is why I told you I should have thought of this ahead of time, but tacky glue, um, I'm sorry, it's called Fabri-Tac. I'm not even putting it on the side. I'm just cutting it. That'll be gorge, don't worry. See? It'll be gorge. I love it. Okay. Am I in the shot? See? Cute. It'll be fine. No worries. We're just going to have to let it set up. And while it's doing that, see now I'll look at it from the back. You can see that just the lacy part, I lined it up, but it's not, you can see it come away from the wood a little bit, so I'm just, I just keep sticking it. All right, it should be fine. Now, what we're going to do next, because I don't want to fudge around with this real, right now. Actually, we should have probably done this before I glue anything on here, is just put holes in, see, I already did this one. So what you want to do is have some type of an awl. Now, this happens to be, or you could use your Dremel, like a small, uh, very small screw hole, but any type of an awl will work. And you just want to press it gently into the side of the wood, um, right around a quarter inch. Like, I mean, if you want me to take a measurement, I could, but you don't, you're just going to eyeball it. Let me show you on the other ones. So basically, it's right up at her shoulder. The house is shaking from the laundry. Okay. So see... It's right there. So think about it as her shoulder. You want the top bead 
to be right at the top so it's going to come down so it's I'm going to say an eighth to a quarter inch down the side of the body and this wood is soft enough that you can just take the awl just don't want to mess this up and gently I'm going to go in this way see I'm just pushing with my thumb and turn and that went in about a quarter inch so you want to just twist it in about a quarter inch and pull it out so you're going to need to do so I have one for the neck and then I'll do the other arm and it's just kind of centered see how it's like a quarter inch I'll try to make this one exactly where that one is so that she's got doesn't have wonky shoulders but it'll be cute don't worry it'll be good enough so I'm just going to use the table as my pressure and just try to go straight and that went right in so if you have a nice piece of soft wood which that's what I bought I bought this at uh, Michaels that's what you're gonna get it's like pine so we have her shoulder little this one's up higher it's fine and the neck and then we need two legs and what I do for that is I think what did I put on here so I'm gonna find my center and then I'm gonna do like actually it's right kind of down from the neck here's what I'm t what I'm telling you is so if you go right down from the neck right here from this so right down from here I'm gonna put the hole here and then I'm gonna put the other hole there so her feet her legs will be hanging right where these are do you see what I'm saying so I'm gonna get like a little pencil mark I'm just gonna make oopsie, a pencil mark right here and you know what you could even do this when the wood is raw except for you'd have to um, just know what you're doing because I could glue fabric here or whatever so I see those little marks you guys aren't going to be able to see them but I can see them and again I center it like in the middle of the wood and just go down and then where my other little mark is center it and go down I wish I could tell you where I got these but this is for tin punch and they I think I've had them since I was a kid I really don't know um, but look online or I'm sure they'll have something all right so that's all my holes for my little um, to attach our beads let me just make sure I think the tacky glue is gonna work out I'm excited all right so what you're gonna need is eye pins these are a pin but it has a hole on the end of it I thought that was tape oh it came off okay I'll put these in a little um, in a little bag. But just for right now, I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five. I need five. One. The holes are kind of big on these too, and you don't need that big of a hole. Three, four. I don't know how many that is. I don't know. I just threw a bunch out. All right, close it. All right. So what you want to do is. I only need enough wire to fit into as deep as the hole is so let's see I'm just saying how deep I so that's how deep it went so I need twice that much so I'm gonna cut this approximately right here and I'll show you why because then I'm gonna bend it in half to make it thicker so I'm gonna bend it then I'm gonna use my thicker pliers and actually make a double thickness 
All right, so let me show you what this is. Let me come down. Okay. So, is it focusing? This is the jump ring, and then this is the pin doubled over on itself. So I'm going to hold this by the jump ring. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glossy accents on it. And for the neck, I'm going to make it face forward. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully. Nope. So I'm going to, I just have to open the nozzle. I'll use the, the part of the pin that I just took off. And I just have to, all right, there we go. Seems open. Again, I'm going to take, I'm going to hold it by the circle part. So by the opening. And I'm going to put this in her neck just like this. Put a little bit of glossy accents on it. And then we're going to take it and just fit it into the hole. Push it and give it some pressure. And that's it. I have um, a blob, so but it'll dry clear. So that that is what it looks like. Now I have this little loop sticking out that I am going to be able to attach the head to. Now the head which I haven't fully painted yet or anything. I'm going to wait on it. I've already painted it. I put a hole in that too. So I'm going to do the same thing. And when I connect them, I'm just going to open this jump because it's a jump. It's got a... It's got a loop, a loop that I can open. And I'm going to... It's a, it'll be fudgy, a little fudgy, but it's, it's doable. So um, let's just continue going around. So again, let me just test how much, uh, how deep this went in. And I want to double that length. So it's basically the same thing. I'm just going to cut, and this I think is called a button shank cutter. I don't know. But I'm basically just going to cut it. Here. and then you're just going to fold it in half onto itself and I mean you know it is so I'm going to do this five times for all my appendages oopsie up here it is so Clamp it down. So now it's just so that you have the double width and then it will hold in the hole better because it just does. I don't know why, how I invented it, but I just invented it. Somebody must have said it on a video too. I don't know if I invented it. So again, I'm going to hold it by the loop and let me see how I did the arms just for... Uh, I think they're going to go do, 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 this way. All right, but again, I need a little bit of glossy accents just for extra hold. And we're going to go this way. Just push it. Push it till it's flush as best you can. And I just am taking a Q-tip. These do seem like they're a little bit of a big uh, head pin hole, but it'll be fine. We're going to use a jump ring, and I bought two different sizes of jump rings. Um, I don't see. Here they are. So I got the um, 5 millimeter, and I got the 4 millimeter. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to finish up doing that, okay? We're going to add that to her eventually and then 
we're going to move on to, I'll do, you know, I'll do that later. We're going to move on to more embellishments. Let me think. I definitely was thinking about uh, my little heart. Oh, this is what I was going to do. Um, I've had these trims in my stash forever, guys, so I'm sorry that I don't remember the vendor, but I'm pretty sure I got this on Etsy. And it's just like a ribbon that looks like a vine. So I was going to put that along the bottom as well and then put some roses. I think that's what I want to do. I have these roses and again, I don't remember where I got them, but I'm going to grab the smallest ones I have. I have a bunch of different, I have buds. I have so many flowers. Um, I actually made this felt flower. That's pretty cute. I have big, I have lots of different sizes. I do have some leaves, but I think I'm just going to use this ribbon as my leaves. So I think these are my smallest, and I have these really light pink tea roses, which I love. But then there's these brighter ones. I have a cream color. So let's take out what I have. I have, this is kind of like a little bit brighter than that. I think I'm heading towards that one. And I mean, this is all personal preference. You get to put what you want to put. Don't forget that you can get these in the wedding section. They have these little flowers. Um, this is like a bigger one. I was thinking of putting this up at the top too. Anyway, um, but you have all types of, look, I have these buttons. These are buttons. You could just use buttons. These are called dress it up buttons. Um, just bling, you could use hearts, whatever. I just pulled this because I, I was going with Valentine's. Now, I don't know. I'm thinking it can just be whatever. Look at the white ones. OMG. How do I decide, you guys? It's so hard to decide. And then there's like a cream one. There's more of a white one. That's more of a white one. And then I only have a few. I must have used them on another project. Oh my gosh. And look, there's a bud. Stop it. I have a bud. Look at the yellow. I mean, that looks gorgeous too. The only thing I have to decide is do I want to do anything on top of here? Or do I just do this on a different one and do her different? I think this could go on here. Just like that. Do you think the lace and that's too much? I think it's cute. Um, this is the thing that um, I should probably have figured out before I come on camera. Um, I really like this heart with the lace. It fits really nice, but I kind of feel like I do need something at the top. Remember, this was, I don't know if I shared this with you. I had, I want to cut off this pom-pom one. Because I just want to see what it looks like. I might use it on um, a different one. These used to be sold at Michael's in the like dollar bins. And they don't even do it anymore. Oh, I just destroyed it, I think. Mm -hmm. But it's like pom-poms. Look how cute. I don't know if that would look too extra. It doesn't match. I don't like the color. And then I have, I have, I just have so many. That looks cute. Then I also have just gold. This is like a gold wire. Oh, now that's looking good. And then I also have um, bling. Like I'll show you my bling. Hold on. Uh, I have black. I was debating if I wanted to put black to make it pop too. Because not on this one, but like, you know what I mean? Like maybe just put the pink. Oh, look at this one. That is striking. It's striking. 
<laughs> I like it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to make some decisions. So I'll be back after I've made my decision. <laughs> 